Good morning, space cadets. Welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. What do you do when you feel yourself being triggered? We all have those moments. We feel it in our bodies. You're chatting to your partner. The conversation is quite innocent. But what's that? A landmine. Even before they've stepped on it, you feel the impact. Your heart rate rises, your stomach twists, you're going to lose your head. Let's face it, the people we love can trigger us more than most. It's especially true if we live with them because it feels hard to escape it. That's why we love these tips from psychotherapist Sadef Siriki. Sadef says, we need to normalise replacing reactivity with vulnerability. Showing others what's going on internally is a sign of strength and helps them understand you better. So, Add these statements to your toolkit. I want to listen to you, but I'm starting to take your feedback personally. Our conversation will be more productive if I have a chance to calm down first. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed right now. It would help me to hear you're on my side and care about me. The key is to own your own feelings rather than pointing the finger. If you're going to take a break, give it a timeline. This isn't about ending a conversation. It's about taking a breather. I'm noticing myself become defensive. Can we restart this conversation? I'm feeling angry right now. I'm going to take some space. Can I check in again in 20 minutes? Here's where it can get tricky. We can start to rely on the heat of a trigger. Have you ever felt high after an argument? Have you ever felt more empowered when you're angry? Experts say anger can give us a sense of gratification. You're right, they're wrong. You're mad and they are the reason. Ask yourself this. How did you feel right before you were triggered? Anxiety, hopelessness, guilty or shame? Did your anger feel a step up from that emotion? Is it possible you lent into your trigger because you knew that anger would feel better? Oh boy. Let's circle back to the alternative. I want you to listen, but I'm starting to take your feedback personally. Our conversation would be more productive if I have a chance to calm down first. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed right now. It would help me to hear you're on my side. It might feel weaker than anger, but it's a bold, brave move. We know which one will feel better in the long run. Space out.